Hi, my name is Mike Keckley, and I'm going to explain my 1929 stock market crash simulation. First thing I'd like to do is start off sharing with the students and reminding them what the stock market actually is, what buying a stock is, things like that. Short class discussion to make sure everybody in the room understands the concept of buying a stock. Second thing we want to do is talk about buying stock on margins, which you'll see in column G right here. And if you're not familiar with this yourself, buying stock on margin, margins simply means you don't pay full price for the stock. So for the purpose of this game, your buying a margin is you're paying 10%, and that means 90% of it is a loan from the bank. And so this is a way to make lots of money, but it's also high risk. So let's talk about how to actually use this spreadsheet. First thing you want to tell students is only type in the yellow shaded columns here. If students type in any of the other columns or things, and by the way, you're going to have to file make a copy of this to edit as well students. Um, so you save this as a template. The, uh, I'm sorry, so only type in the yellow columns because if you type in any of the other columns, that will erase the formulas and it won't work. And the best thing to do there is just have a student undo up here or if they really get messed up, just have them make a new copy and start over. So, to start off the game, everyone starts off with $300 cash right here. They then have the choice. Uh, the dollar starts. They are buying at the price of the dollar average, so one stock is going to cost $70, as seen in row J, column I here. So, in C3, have students type in how many stocks they want to buy. Now, if you do the math, the maximum they can buy is four. So if they were to type in five, or number larger, these red error messages will show up and show too many. So I'll just simply have them go back and fix it. They can select type in four stocks. That's the maximum. Also, I'm going to change it to zero. They can decide to buy how many on margin. And it's good at this point to talk to students about what it's actually going to cost and explain that they're only going to pay $7 for these stocks. So the maximum you can buy here is 42. You do the math. Type in 43. Again, red error message. So I will buy 42 for the sake of this demonstration. And then you'll see you only have $26 left in cash because um, in each new round you get a $20 added on. So that's why it's over um, $7. Then you go to the second sheet here and this is a list of prices I have roughly based on history based on the chart, chart that I'll show you in a minute. Um, we started with 70, that's roughly the price it was around 1920 as close as I could estimate. So you're going to tell them, okay, after everyone's filled this out, put in 100 here for your first one. And as they do, it will show they gain $30 and their total gain of loss multiplied times there is 1260 and their new total value. The total value adds up how much cash they have, plus their stocks, minus their debt, and plus their gain or loss here. So then they go on to the next round and they decide again how many they want. Now one way to game the system is to do neg they, to sell, they can do negative stocks here. So I'm going to sell all my stock and then I'm going to rebuy it on margin to make lots of money. Then we go back to the other page. The next price is 150. And we can say lots of money made again. Now I'm going to show you one more time. Um, I'll just change it right here. What happens eventually in the game is the stocks go down as you follow the pattern. And let's say right here they were to go down to 75, for example. You will see I have now lost money and I am now out of the game and out of the market because it's red in here. So that's pretty much an overview of the game. Um, the goal and purpose of this game, going back to here, is for students to start getting excited and really start to make lots of money before, down here, the market starts to crash. And we follow the chart, that's the link right here that shows the first crash is really not huge. And so some kids will be tricked to still keep in the market, just like people were back then, and still investing here before the major crash comes. And by this time, anyone who's aggressively invested will 
be out of the market. Now, some kids won't buy hardly any stocks and they won't lose lots of money. And it's good to talk about then that not everyone invested in the stock market. But when the whole market crashed, of course, it affected lots of people. But overall, uh, this tool should help students to see that you can make lots of money in the stock market, but it's high risk and that it can crash real fast. So it gives them that thrill of investing and also sees how it can crash and leads to a good class discussion afterwards.